quick tutorial on Bootstrap World's Data Science curriculum. This is just going to be the very beginning. And if you want to find the curriculum, I would go to Google or whatever search engine you like and type in Bootstrap World. All right, you can go to their main page, but I'm going to go straight to Data Science since it pops up right here. Um, and I'm going to scroll down Let's see here, and if I click on Fall 2020, uh, as of now, that's our most up-to-date version, which is what I'm going to use. All right, I'm going to go down a bit. Um, there's a bunch of information. You can order student workbooks. They're cheap and good quality, but you can also print it for free. Right now, I'm just going to go straight to the lesson plans. And uh, it's all laid out for, for teachers right here on the site. I don't really need to go through each part of it, but I want to show a bit about how the spreadsheets and starter files interact. That's what the topic of this video will be. So um, this is the starter file. It's uh, using a language called Pirate, uh, which is, I think it shares some similarities to Python, but it's uh, built more with education in mind. So um, hence, hence the first couple letters are the same. That's my best guess at why it's called Pirate. There, there may be some other reasons too. And I'm also going to open the spreadsheet. All right, this is just a regular old Google Sheet. Um, and one thing that's important to notice, well, actually, let me just go back to starter file before I get too into how we change things around. Um, right now, nothing is happening. If I run the code, I will see a pirate spinning up at the top. It says running. Okay, doesn't look like much happened, but since I've run the code, I can now um, type in a variable name. I'm going to use animals table because that's what was written in the code. Animals table it needs to be printed exactly as shown on the left hand side. And I push enter or return, and the table appears. Um, Part of it is hidden, but I can expand and see the entire table. And the reason that happened was because at the top of the left-hand side, we can see some libraries being loaded in, which gives us access to Google Sheets, to tables, to images. And then if we go down a bit, we can see that um, we load in a particular spreadsheet. Now, right here that I'm highlighting, the green letters, um, they are part of the URL of this animal data sheet. If we look, it starts with one capital V, E, R, two, and so on, ending with M, A. And that is found in between the last two slashes of the Google Sheet. Okay. One capital V, E, R, and again ending in M, A. All right. So if you wanted to use your own data set, you would want to make sure you have that same portion of the URL. You would also want to make sure the number of columns in your data set and the number of columns in the code here matches. The names of the columns do not have to match. If you notice this in the code here, they're all lowercase names, species, sex, age, fixed, and so on. In the data sheet, they're capitalized, so they don't have to be identical but the number of columns does have to match. Um, just to show you what happens if it doesn't, I'll delete one of the columns in the code. I'll try to run the code, and I think I will get an error. Yeah, um, because the number of columns does not match. So the column I deleted was called weeks. I'm just gonna replace it with a W to emphasize it doesn't matter what you call a column. It just has to have a placeholder there in the code. All right, if I type in the variable again, animals table, it will load again. But now this last column is called W instead of weeks. And the other things that need to match up between this, the Google Sheet and the pirate code is um, this word right here. Pets, in quotation marks, is the name of the actual sheet in the Google Sheet. If 
those two words don't match up, it won't work. So if it's called pets in the spreadsheet, and I were to type in anything else right here, I would also get an error. I'm not going to do that right now, but I have in the past, and it doesn't work. Um, so now I'm just going to try starting my own set of data. Go to Google Drive. I'll open a new Google Sheet. This is just to show that one can load any any Google Sheet into Pirate. I think any sheet, most sheets at least. Um, and I'll just call this uh, practice. And I'm not going to take the time to enter in any real data, but I'll call the first column C1, the second column C2. And I'll just kind of fill it in with a few rows of gibberish. Uh, C2 will be numerical data. Okay, um, now this sheet is called sheet one. The URL I need is um, right up here. So I'm going to copy that same portion of the URL. I'm going to be sure to include the word sheet one in the code. It's wrong document, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to replace the original URL with my kind of gibberish data. I'm going to replace pets with um, sheet one. Capitalization needs to match up. And I have two columns of nonsense data, so I'm just going to make sure I have two names here. I'll call them column one and column two. All right, so now everything matches up. I'm going to click run to see what happens. Okay, now let's see if I try and load animals table, I now get my kind of nonsensical data, but it works. Any Google Sheet can be loaded so long as we have the right section of the URL, the correct number of columns, and we specify the name of the sheet as is specified in our actual Google Sheet. Um, the next video I will show how to actually use some code to do something with data and I'll go back to the real animals data sheet from Bootstrap World.